y'all doing? So I am back finally with a in-depth tutorial of the Miche products. Now these are her two styling products. This is again the Quench Hydrating and Twisting Butter made with cop. I have to pronounce this correctly. Kapasu, Kupuwasu, <laughs> Kupuwasu butter and mango butter. This comes in 8.5 ounces and this is what it looks like. I will be having much more information below in the description box. It is a fairly thick product and I will show you the consistency. This is how thick it is. It's a styling product, very creamy, okay? Look at that, very creamy. This is how, okay, I'm not gonna be petty. I was gonna say something about Shane Marshall, but I'm not gonna be petty. Um, <laughs> but it's a nice consistency. Remind me similar to how the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie was before they changed the formula. But anyway, um, and then we have her leave-in conditioner called Lavish, made with aloe vera and avocado oil. It's a three-in-one leave-in conditioner that moisturizes, detangles, and softens dry hair. It is fairly large, 12 ounces. Now you guys, I have been using these products for quite a while now, and look how much I have. Um, I used them, um, it's gone on, um, I would say about two months. Yeah, two months off and on. Not, consistently but a few times and I have a lot left look at that it's only down to here so what I'm going to be doing today first of all my hair is very old it is very dry she needs to be moisturized she needs some love and I'm going to be doing a braid out um, it's something that I don't normally do I washed my hair four or five days ago and I moisturized my hair uh, two days ago so she's dry yeah, she's dry. So we're gonna go ahead and section my hair off to make it easier to apply these styling, styling products. Now, I will be using water before applying anything in my great mister here, and I will be using oil to seal in my uh, the moisture. So you guys, I've been using, which will be a separate video. I'm gonna figure, figure out how to basically track this, but these are fenugreek seeds. And I've been using this oil now for about, about six weeks yeah so yeah so let's go ahead and get my hair together y'all okay I'm going to untwist all right you guys let me go ahead and clip this out of the way in certain areas and uh and I typically, I tend to make the braids in the front and around the crown of my hair smaller than the sides in the back. So taking my spray bottle, lightly misting. And now the leave-in conditioner again comes in this pump. Perfect, perfect packaging. No problems with the pump. Very smooth product. Light, lovely shea butter scent to it. I'm gonna smooth this into my hair. Very nice. And then I'm going to take, I tend to be heavy handed, <clears throat> especially since I live in a dry area. I live in Phoenix, Arizona, but I took 10 cents, okay? Mind you, my hair is a little damp, so I want to be careful. Um, I will more than likely allow my hair to set for a couple of days, but still. Or at least one day. I never take now the next day, you guys. Rarely. I mean, I yeah, I just don't. All right, so let's get started on braiding. <laughs> and 
And yeah, these are a little bit small. One of the reasons why I, I prefer twist outs over braid outs, I find sometimes that my braids uh, make my hair flat. I don't know, they seem like they're flatter than a twist out. Maybe it's just me, I don't know. It could just be just me. guys so I am just about done setting my hair in these braids I ended up making them a little bit smaller than I had intended but that is perfectly fine now I'm going to use a little bit of oil on my scalp I can do this I know that my hair would just soak it up not using a lot about 15 cents worth and I'm going to allow these braids to sit in my hair for about two days okay here is two days later and I'm going to take my time unraveling taking out a little bit more oil I know just a little bit though y'all though just to help to reduce frizz <music> Ryan Little. <laughs> Yoga. guys so continuing to take down these braids I do apologize for the lighting at the last minute I had to end up filming this in my guest bedroom so again I do apologize for that now it does take a while to take down braids just because they're braids okay so I will say after about five weeks of using the Mish product I do enjoy her line um, I've used her products on both my hair and my son's hair okay I will be coming back I posted a poll a couple of days ago asking for you guys to vote on a comparison video and it looks like the melanin twist elongating cream versus the mesh hydrate and twisting butter is winning but I will do even more for you guys I will go ahead and also review the blue magic green versus the blue magic blue grease hair grease that is that's just to give you guys update on what's to expect um so okay again taking my time but look at the definition look at the shine <music> Here is the final look of again the products by the Mish line doing a braid out. Highly recommend both products if you are for type A, B, or C, even if you are for type 3C. But bear in mind that the products are a little bit heavier and designed for highly textured hair, in my opinion. So, you guys, I'm going to turn around to the side and towards the back. Again, loving the definition, the soft hold. I was able to maintain this braid out for about four days, again, because it was done on old hair. So, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Take care. Bye.